All right, so for the mountain climbers, a lot of you are probably somewhat familiar with this workout. If you are a CrossFitter or if you've done it in uh, boot camp, it's a very common exercise. It does two things. It works your abs and it gets your heart rate up. So let's show what the standard mountain climber is real quick. It's a little bit advanced. Go ahead. So that's a mountain climber. You're jumping back and forth, getting those knees into your chest. Okay, you can stop there. So we're not going to be doing that today. We're going to be doing a similar, we're going to be doing a variation of that called the static mountain climber. Now, the difference here is that we're up to A, we're working on abs, so we want to be working on your core stability, improving your health of your torso, and getting you some abs. So, we're not worrying about getting your heart rate up, we want to be focusing on proper body mechanics. So go ahead and we'll show the static mountain climber now. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to break it down for you. So, we start off in that push-up position, right? Now, a couple things here for proper form. The most important thing to know is that gravity is trying to pull Krista's lower back down into an arch, right? Trying to do that, have her sag. And you'll see a lot of people when they're doing push-ups or planks, they're doing this. This is terrible. This is, it's better to not do the exercise than to do it that way. It's going to ruin your lower back. So what you want to be doing is fighting against gravity. That's the whole exercise. It's pulling her lower abs in to pull and keep her spine straight. And then while doing that and maintaining that posture, she's going to now slowly with control, bringing her left knee to her chest. Okay, or her right knee. Hold for two seconds. She's going to come back. And then she's going to do her left knee. Holding for two seconds. Getting a maximum contraction there when she comes into her chest and then switching sides. So that is the static mountain climber. Fantastic core stability exercise. Now, for some of you, that will still be too advanced. If you're a beginner, it's gonna be hard enough to hold the push-up position, forget bringing the knee into your chest. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna move to an incline static mountain climber. And a lot of floor exercises follow the same pattern. So what you wanna do is just basically raise the floor. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do it with this little ottoman, which makes the floor higher, but you can go even higher. You can go to your counter, you can go to a uh, chair, couch, whatever you need to, higher up to make it easier. And then as you get stronger, you can gradually bring your level closer to the floor. I guess it's going to show it, Kristen. Yeah, so it's the same thing, right? So you're just holding, you're just raising the floor so that you have less, you have less of your own body weight that you're using. So it'll be less intensity. All right, that is the static mountain climber. See you next time.